Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here. Welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So I got a question from, from Bobby, and it's a common question about uh, needing a job. And I wanna talk with you a little bit about how God provides. Now what's interesting is in the story of Abraham and God requesting that he sacrifice his son Isaac, a complicated story in the book of Genesis. Abraham ultimately learns that God is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who will provide. And God doesn't really want him to provide his son because God's gonna provide his own sacrifice. It's a beautiful picture, of course, God providing his son Jesus. But the fact that God provides, God also gave us the ability as he created us in his, in, in his image and likeness to, to actually go and work. Actually work was given as a gift by God to Adam in the garden even before the fall. But we live in a day and age where everybody kind of wants to be provided for but nobody wants to do anything. I remember when I grew up, I'm actually grateful for it. My dad told me that when I graduated from college it was time to move out and provide for myself. And I literally knew that when I finished school that I was never gonna live in my father's house again and I was never gonna ask him to pay for anything again. And I'm grateful for that because too often in this day and age, people say, I want a job, but I only wanna do a job that suits me. Actually, if you're an adult, you get a job and you pay for yourself. And so I wanna encourage you, if right now, if you're not liking your job, then find a better job. If you're not working, take any job and work because idle hands is the devil's uh, you know, a playground. He can have a blast there. And we live in a culture right now where people only wanna work if they want to, listen, you work because you were created to add value to God's good earth that has been broken by sin. But when you don't work, you're actually part of the problem. So I wanna encourage you, get up, get off the social media, and go get a job in Jesus' name. That's what I want you to do. First, I want you to share this video. Now, that may have sounded a little harsh, but we need to talk these ways. The Bible actually says that if someone doesn't work, they, they don't eat. So it's amazing that God doesn't wanna create a culture of freeloading. Now, that's what I want you to do in the comment section. I want you to talk about the work that you do and why you enjoy doing it. And even the things that you don't enjoy about it, the things that you're like, I do it for these reasons. And it's a great testimony when we are willing to work and get at what God has for us. God bless you today.